All right, I'm back with Michelle. Michelle, yeah. What's up? Um, I want to get out of where I'm at. I'm in the shelter. Are you? Uh, yeah. So what's uh, the matter? I was in the shelter when the last time I talked to you. Yeah. It's just, she's saying it's a lottery for the housing, and I know it's not. It's, you know, based on the assessment. Uh-huh. You know, the assessment when you first get there, the questions they ask you and everything. And then based on your answers, they're supposed to give you, you know, housing. Yeah. And put your um, applications in for your housing for programs that they know that you're qualified for or that you would fit. Sure. And she's not doing that. She's just sitting there saying that it's a lottery. I have to wait for them to pick my name. Yeah. And that's BS. I know that's BS. And then just what goes on in here. And I call it the Beacon Bando because... <laughs> the Beacon Bando. <laughs> because it, I might as well be in a Bando. Like, you yeah. can't sleep in there. And then when I do actually get some sleep, shit gets stolen right off of me on right on my bed while the people, you know what I mean? We have a monitor on the floor yeah. who's supposed to be watching everything. And with them there and everything, shit gets stolen. I've, two tablets have gotten stolen already. I can't count the cigarettes and wow. you know, I mean, money and everything. But it's just, and like I said, 11 7 supposed to be quiet time. They don't respect that at all. Like, they got stuff on full blast, even the people that work there. So it's like, and I try to get up for during the day and do things like normal people and try to get my life better and better situation and do actual business hour type things. Yeah. And I can't really do that because of the way that I'm living in here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I'm about to go to D's house. I know everybody says that, but <laughs> I'm you? actually in the steps of preparing right. it. Yeah, do you know, you know where, to go, where to go or who to reach out to, stuff like that? That's what I'm figuring out where I want to go because um, I actually might go because I'm a triple one status or whatever it is with the um, homeless outreach people, and they okay. have a um, Journey of Hope program, Okay. and that's an individualized program based on me individually, not on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's not like a step program for everybody does the same thing. So, and people think that with them, when you're on triple one status, that you automatically get a housing voucher, and that's not true. Uh-huh. Um, that's, you know, that's based on the accomplishments that you're making where you're at in your, you know. Okay, program. so they will, like, it's kind of like a personalized. Personal, yeah. Where they would send you or whatever. Right, right. When I, and I told her that I want to go to a detox. Like, I'm not going to do the rehab, and I'm not doing the NAs and AAs, because that's just not me. That's not how I'm going to recover. That's not my way, because I've tried that, and that's just not for me. Yeah. I can't do the stories and... Yeah, the I did the... I, I didn't do the AA. I, I had to go to the rehab I just to you know get through it and then i the reason i went that way is because i wanted to go to recovery house in bucks county i wanted to get the hell out of philly yeah well i, I don't want to do a recovery house or nothing i want my own spot i need to be in my own space and yeah. I, I want to go to school for cdl and um drive a truck and get out of here i'm just going to drive across the states i'm going to do long hauls yeah you know what i mean because i've never been awesome. anywhere and i love driving and i don't like working with you know other people because i feel like they're lazy yeah. and i'd get pissed off when i do extra work and they get paid more than me and they're sitting on their ass like <laughs> so i just drove up to boston mm-hmm. providence rhode island i just went and did some sightseeing up there yeah well it's fun i never i've never been anywhere like i said i've only been in the tri-state area new york new jersey pennsylvania delaware maryland so oh, okay never been on a plane never been you know to a concert there's so much that I yeah man been. get sober go yeah. enjoy life and man. i can't keep a phone here so like yeah. and i want to get these house because and i found out that this shelter mm-hmm. is their goal is to put us into treatment not housing it's changed now um, it's called a respite center now. It's different from when oh, they oh, first started, oh, what wow. their idea was. Okay, so it, originally it was housing, and right, now they and just now want treatment. Right, and, and now it, instead of getting three opportunities or three um, offers for housing, they only give you one, and if you don't take it, then you have 30 days to get out. Oh, wow. So I guess you just got to take what you get. Yeah, worry. but I don't even want to wait around for them. I, like I said, I have a plan. I want to go get my CDL and all that. Mm. Um Actually, my driver's license, the $90 restoration fee just got paid. So I'm going to be getting my driver's license back. Awesome. I have that to was, just go get my car. I felt like I won the lottery the day I got my license I know. Back. I can't and wait. I love was, driving. So I actually have to get my car, though. So I, um, once I do that, then I'm going to go to Uber or Lyft yeah. and rent a car from them and drive for them. And, you know, I mean, within the first two days, I'll have their money for the car paid off for the week. And then the other five days is my yeah. money. Yeah, because you can and rent a car from Uber. Yeah, Uber. and yeah, then yeah. I can get back and forth to my mom's to help her out more easily and to my appointments. And, um, but of course, I have to detox first. But I'm down to, like, one and a half, two bags a day. And um, I just well, need it detox. Like you have a yeah, I need detox to get over that hump. And weed's yeah. been helping me a lot, <laughs> believe it or not. Weed? Yeah, uh, and I, I talked to the, my doctors here, and um, they're, we're talking about a medical marijuana card for $75. Yeah. It's only get $75. On yeah, I have mine. Yeah, and then I can get the pen, you know what I mean? So yeah. I can get it like that. 
I'm not sure how that works or whatever, but I'm going to see if I can get the doctor right to prescribe here. me. You know, I got see? the pin, too. I just I, I And then the insurance it. pays for it, right? No. Uh, well, I don't know with welfare how that would work. Well, Keystone first, and they, she asked me what insurance I have and everything, too. So. They, so, yeah, if you're on welfare, they should pay for the card. It should be cheaper, but you yeah. still got to pay for the... the um, Absolutely. Okay. But well, anyway, really I'll be working, so it doesn't matter. But it, it's helping a lot with getting off of the dope. Yeah, so, like, you know, I mean, what I mean, whatever helps. That's the worst of two evils. You know what I mean? Like with this, her, this yeah, uh, fentanyl, like this. um, xylazine shit, and now they're saying Let's it's like these. reptile. Um, oh, Hold on. All right. Sorry. Okay. Now they're saying it's like reptile, um, trank or whatever. Now, so like, I just feel yeah. disgusted. Like my legs. I I'm, I like wearing dresses and stuff, and my legs are de are destroyed. Like I have so many scars, but um, I feel like now, like I don't want to be ashamed of them. I want to show them off as, you know, like my war marks, like what I've been yeah. through. But I mean, I like, they're healing, scars, like, yeah. They're not, like, yeah. There's a whole lot of scars, yeah. like. But I'm one who wears. I've dresses seen a lot stuff. worse, though. Right. Well, yeah, I yeah. mean, there's serums and stuff I can use, but like. Yeah. The way that they were, and if I stay on it, I'm gonna die. Like, and I keep telling everybody, they think it's gonna pass by. That matter is not playing. The open air drug market in Philadelphia is done. Yeah. And hey, you think it's done? It's it, done. Is it? It's over. Okay. It's a wrap. I mean, not to say that there's not gonna be drugs in Philadelphia. There is, but and then they did the count for how many people were out in the streets still. You know what I mean? So they know how many beds they need for homeless people, which I don't know exactly how they don't know because they should know how many people based on what welfare and all that but whatever yeah there's just so much that goes on and so much with it but i just i gotta get out of the system and get out of it i don't need to wait for their housing i can get a job and get my own spot sure. you know what i mean but i mean well listen i really i hope you wish you the best michelle you know i, I like you, you. I, I, mm -hmm. I hope you can uh Get off these streets. Every time man. you come, I look like hell too. One of these days, I gotta set up an appointment with you and actually. Like, <laughs> I think every time I, I clean up nice. Yeah, no, every time I see you, I just run into you. you right, know? It's, it's always just, just, just yeah. I just find out that you're around or whatever. But because yeah. I'd be out here cleaning up the sidewalks and shit like that, because I live here uh -huh. and I pick up all the works and stuff. Because there's kids out here. Yeah. And then I clean up the trash and stuff like that. Because if I live here, I don't want to sit in trash when I'm hanging outside. And yeah. I live here, so I'll be out here, and yeah. I don't like sitting in trash, so I just clean it. Yeah, so it's funny, you do I see a lot of people cleaning the street, but I mean, no one wants to live in filth, not yeah. a lot of people do, some people do, but mm. you know. Well, also because I get tired of people looking at me, like, and treating me based on how the other people are, like, yeah, I get high, but I don't do it like them, and not to say that I'm better than them because they do certain things on the street, but I'm better than them. Yeah. <laughs> cool all right well michelle i appreciate People you doing take this it how again. They want, but <laughs> we will uh hopefully i'll see you again in the future and you'll be sober and we can do it better and yeah well i'm not gonna be sober i'm gonna smoke weed well yeah <laughs> well, we'll smoke a blunt together and do the interview. all right bet. <laughs> all right i'll talk to you later all right